How long are you make it? Yes, man. And how long you have it now? From 2020. Mm. 2020, you cannot walk. No. Ah, oh, reverse, you know. So, wait there, wait there. You want to be reverse? Mm. Yes, man. So, uh, I'm ready to blow us. Hold on. Whoa. Respect my general. Oh, my I God. I tell you. Wagwan people, welcome back to another Yardi TV news headlines. So people, the police have arrested and charged a woman who engaged the police team in a high-speed chase in St. Andrew recently. A video of the incident has since gone viral on social media. The black monster refusing to stop. She's having us round in the plaza. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move! Don't move, driver! Don't move! Driver, don't move! Come out of the vehicle! Come out of the vehicle! Miss, come out of the vehicle! Exit the vehicle, miss! Yeah, she alone! Yes, man. Hello, miss. It's on video with the river vehicle, miss. <laughs> Boy, what a woman lie and wicked, man. Every time I watch the video, they may have to laugh to react it. People, leave your thoughts in the comment section about that one. Yeah. So, the next thing we are going out of the street now, peeps. Police sees Ganja worth $4.26 million in St. Elizabeth. The St. Elizabeth police seized 1,065 pounds of ganja worth $4.26 million during an operation on Fuller's Wood Main Road in the parish on Monday. Reports are that about 4.30 p.m., the police were conducting a vehicle check operation when they signaled the driver of an Isuzu motor truck to stop. The police said the driver complied but then ran from the truck and escaped in the area. The truck was seized and later searched. Several bags of compressed ganja weighing approximately 1,065 pounds were found hidden under a bale of grass. The latest seizure comes on the heel of reported uptick in the anti-narcotics activity by the Jamaica Constabulary Force. So we gone in at the parish of St. Anino where some heap of looseness are gone. Because it was just last week that I reported that a male teacher was arrested on allegations of sexual misconduct against one of his 15-year-old male students at a prominent high school in St. Anne. So here what they must say now. The St. Anne police have now confirmed that the male teacher who was arrested last week on allegations of sexual misconduct against a 15-year-old male student has been officially charged. The 24-year-old business education teacher has been charged by the St. Anne CIB with one count of buggery, indecent assault and grievous sexual assault and is to appear in the St. Anne Parish Court to answer to the charges. Both accused and victims are attached to a prominent high school in St. Anne. But I don't know how I go on the school lately because if I don't fight, I stab up or somebody get caught with one gun go to school or one pitney gone in a school or drink and sure and do all kind of arms house Pure madness But leave your thoughts in the comment section about that one your peeps So the next thing we are going out of the street and now we know peeps And this is a very serious matter The St. James Police is now seeking your assistance in locating this young lady upon your screen 23 year old Joel Lee Shaw Grant a call centre representative of Jenkins Avenue in Barrett Town of the same parish. She has been missing since Saturday May 7 and was last seen wearing a pink shirt, white blouse, black and white adidas slippers and she is about 5 feet 7 inches tall and has a scar under her right eye. They say that anyone knowing her whereabouts is being asked to contact the Barrett police at 876-958-7899 
or Crime Stop 311. Serious matter, this people. If you don't see that young lady there, give them a call. Make them know where I'm going. So, the next thing we are going out of the street now, peeps. That piece of pie pie they want to see on the screen is a 45 mm pistol that was seized alongside a magazine containing 8 rounds of ammunition during a targeted operation in Tucker, St. James about 2 p.m. yesterday, May 9th, 2022. So congratulations to the JCF on that fine. So we gone in at the parish of St. Mary where two people were shot and one fatal after a fight allegedly erupted inside a nightclub in Stuart Town on Saturday. The deceased man has been identified as Jermaine Barrington of Stuart Town. A woman is also in the hospital after being shot during the incident. The Arrokobesa police reported that about 1.40 a.m. Barrington and the woman were among patrons at the nightclub when a fight broke out inside the venue. A man allegedly pulled a firearm and opened gunfire, hitting Barrington and the woman. They were rushed to the hospital where Barrington was pronounced dead. The police are currently following several leads in pursuit of the suspected shooter. Since the start of the year, a total of 18 people have been killed in St. Mary. So before me leave, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. And that video that you saw earlier with the police and the woman in the big chase is actually a 6 minutes video. So for those of you who want to watch the entire video, feel free to join the telegram group. A link will be left in the description. Also follow me on Instagram at yadi.tv.official and follow me on Twitter at yadi.tv.official. People big up on yourself you know. Until next time. I'm your boy Yadi from Yadi TV. I'm out.